Hey everyone, welcome to our Teething Rattle tutorial. Teething Rattle toys have become super popular as they reach so many developmental stages for your teething little one. From bright colored chewable beads to wood rings that make a lovely rattling sound, this entire teething toy is a sensory gift. And best of all, it's so easy to make and customize. Before we begin, I'm going to walk you through the different supplies that you will need. First, we have six, a 60 inch regular cord. We've chosen white. The string will be hidden, so it really doesn't matter which color you choose. We also have 10 90 mil round beads. We've chosen nine coral and one salmon bead as an accent. There are so many gorgeous color options available on our website and our round beads, so the fun part is picking out the color design. Next, we've chosen two natural wood rings, beach 60 millimeters, 12 mil thickness. We love this size for a rattle. Of course, we will also need a scissor and a lighter. Last, we have the amazing original knot gripper from the Wheatland Wood Shop. This tool is not totally necessary in creating your own rattle, but as I will show you later, it is definitely very handy in creating your own teether toy. Now that we are all set, let's get creating. First, burn one end of the string. I usually slightly burn about an inch of the cord to make it nice and firm, which prevents any fraying when you begin beading and it makes it super easy to slip the cord through the beads. Next, begin stringing your beads in the preferred order of color. Once all the beads are strung, slide the wood rings onto the beaded cord. Now that everything is on in the order that you would like, you'll need to knot the cord tightly between two beads. Ensure that when you begin knotting, you have kept the beads on the cord as tightly together as possible. This is where the knot gripper comes in super handy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take both of the loose string and tie a knot about five inches away from the original knot that you have made. Take these knots and slip them into the knot gripper and pull apart as hard as you can. This will tighten your knot by the beads until it is extremely strong. Now take your scissors and cut the excess string near the knot. Slightly burn both of the snipped ends and carefully push them into the knot until hardened and firm. This will keep the knot fused together. Pull one of the beads over the knot to hide it. And just like that, your teether toy is completed and ready for your little one to enjoy. The strong beach rings provide an extra element of fun as they rattle against each other. We are sure it will be your child's favorite toy right away. I hope you guys loved this tutorial and found it helpful. A step-by-step -step tutorial is written on our blog at krsupply.com. As well, all the products used in this tutorial are available on our website. Also, join us on Facebook and Instagram to stay up to date on all things jewelry and crafting. Thanks for watching.